I got one comment asking for my makeup routine. So this is for you, everyone else. I hope you enjoy it as well. I'm refilming this intro because the other one kind of sucked. So let's get into it. <laughs> primer especially if something's super hydrating it's gonna slip around and this helps it not do that so much this is the refi glow and sculpt primer but it basically is like a roll-on primer which i think is really cool i would say if you are not a fan of glowy makeup i would not say this is the product for you but i personally absolutely love it and i'm just buffing that in with a brush because sometimes i'm just weird about like blending in my makeup with my fingers i feel like brushes just feel a little bit cleaner and less messy i don't know if you noticed but i have some pretty bad acne and acne scars happening right now i i'm just going through one of those phases where either it's hormones or it's stress and it shows up in my skin and i feel like that's a very normal thing but because i've struggled so much with my skin in the past i feel like i am pretty good at covering it now so one of my absolute best tips is to go in with any like highlight, blush, bronzer, any like cream products like that, do it under your concealer. And then after we're gonna go in and spot conceal. This is the Glossier Halo Scope Highlight. I feel so weird talking like this, but I do know what I'm talking about to some extent. It's just imposter syndrome. And for blush, I'm using the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Rose You Slay. I just apply blush on like the high points of my cheeks. I used to go quite in on like the bridge of my nose too, but I've noticed that it's not necessarily the most flattering for my face shape. So I'm just going in with a Real Techniques angled brush. Any brush like this will work. I'm really not too fussy about my brushes. It just kind of whatever works, whatever's there, whatever's clean. And for bronzer, by far my favorite product is the Rare Beauty Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick in the shade Power Boost. It's a really warm shade, um, which I have like kind of a neutral skin tone, so I can kind of go warm or cool tone, even though I don't like cool tone on me. <laughs> so I'm pretty much always doing warm. Oh my God, look at how beautiful that is. So pretty. Kind of go right under my cheekbone and I don't go too heavy handed. I also put a little bit by my eyebrow, kind of extending a little onto my eyelid and on the other side and a little bit on my forehead. I also am gonna contour my nose a little bit. So I just go under right there and then I swipe some on the sides of my nose. I'm really not too precise about this. And I'm just going in with another Real Techniques brush. I feel like my makeup has gone through so many different phases and I feel like I'm finally at that point where it's just gonna stay like this for probably most of my adult life. And to blend in my nose, I'm gonna use this little angled brush. I feel like really the biggest thing that I've had to learn is that just because something is like trendy, it doesn't mean it's gonna work for me. And I feel like now I'm really just using makeup as a way to complement the features that I really love about myself. Like I love highlighting my eyebrows and my eyebrows. I love highlighting my eyes and my eyebrows. But I also do really enjoy focusing on hydrating products for my skin because as someone that has struggled so much with their skin, treating my skin as well as possible and with as many like hydrating skincare based products, it makes me feel so much more confident. So now I'm going to do some spot concealing. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. It's definitely not the most like aesthetic product, but when I tell you this works so dang well and it is also a perfect shade match for me, but I definitely have some good old dark circles. So I'm just kind of like dabbing that under my eyes and now I'm just going over any acne scars or just things that I want to cover because I hate having like really heavy makeup over acne and I'm just going to blend that in with this tiny little round brush. So I have a pimple right here, <laughs> this angle. I'm going to blend everywhere around the pimple 
but not directly on top of it. And for my cheeks, since I have kind of just acne scars all in one area i'm not too fussy about it i try to just like lightly blend it in so i'm not moving the product around a lot something i've been doing recently to blend out my under eyes is use this like flat denser brush i think it's probably for like foundation or something but i'll show you i just go like this now for powder. This is my favorite powder. It is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Tapping off the excess and I'm just gonna go under my eyes right where it would crease. And I feel like this also really helps just smooth everything out. Like, look at the difference. And I'm also just gonna go in between my eyebrows cause that's where I personally get extremely oily. I do have oily skin by the way, just so you have that information. <laughs> like just put it where you need it. This may seem like extremely over the top, but what I like to do, and I feel like this makes my makeup look so, so good. Like the best it's ever looked. As you saw, I did all of the cream products and I just set my concealer. And now I'm gonna go in with all of my powder products, starting with some bronzer. This is the Bare Minerals Bronzer. It's, I believe it's the Endless Summer Bronze. I have no idea what shade it is though. This is so old. Any bronzer will do. I just recommend getting one that is complimentary to your skin tone. And for this, I'm just using this fluffy brush. And this is kind of just like a general bronze. And I feel like any dimension that I lost from the spot concealing, this kind of just adds it back. So this is such a pretty blush. This is the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Cheer. Like that is so pretty. And this stuff is so insanely pigmented. So I literally do like that and that's it. <laughs> and I just focus this on like the high points of my cheeks, but I don't bring it in like I did with the other blush. So as you can see, I really love a natural makeup look. <laughs> and now for highlight. Again, this is another Rare Beauty product. Oh, that is just so pretty. I'm taking a fluffy brush. I'm pretty sure this is the same one I used for my bronzer, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit like that. And I'm just gonna feather it with a really light hand. And I'm also just going to add some to my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and then the bridge of my nose, and just like lightly tap it in. I feel like this just really brightens up my face. And again, as I mentioned, I like to highlight my eyes because I really love my eyes. Normally, this is when I would go in with a setting spray, but I literally just ran out and I haven't had time to get a new one yet. I love the NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. It's super affordable and it works really well. Moving on to eyebrows. As you can see, I have very fluffy eyebrows, which I love, and I like to kind of just make them even more fluffy. So I just did a line, like a feathery line under my eyebrow and then kind of just extended the tail of my eyebrow. And then I'm just gonna feather the front a little bit and just fill in any sparse areas so you can see the difference. I feel like I just, like to kind of bring them in a bit because I have really blonde hairs in the front and it can actually, if your eyebrows are farther apart, it can make your nose look bigger, which is not what I want. <laughs> so I like to bring them in just a little bit. I also just realized I didn't say what product this is. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Pencil. So I'm gonna use the Kosas Airbrow Clear Lifting Treatment Gel. And I'm just going to comb that through and kind of diffuse that line that I did at the front. It's actually so funny. My ex absolutely hated my fluffy brows and I just kept on doing it because we do not do our makeup for other people. We do it for ourselves. I'm using this tiny little angled brush from Real Techniques and the same Bare Minerals bronzer and just drag it along my lower lash line and kind of feather it out. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I cannot skip this step and I feel like it just makes such a huge difference. So now for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Cali Ray Come Heller High Water Tubing Mascara 
I love this stuff. It is definitely one of my favorite mascaras that I've used because it comes off with water and it just kind of like kind of balls up on your eye and you can literally just like swipe it off and it doesn't rip out your eyelashes. You don't have to like scrub your eyes to get it off. It's so great, but it also doesn't smudge. I don't know how they do it. And something I've been doing recently is only kind of going on the tips of my eyelashes because I find that if I put too much on, it kind of weighs them down. And I'm kind of like dragging them out this way because it kind of gives that false eyelash look. Now for lips. So what I do is actually I take my eyebrow pencil because I love using a brown liner and I just lightly line my lips. I kind of have two products that I jump between depending on the mood that I'm in. I love the Glossier Ultra Lip. This is in the shade Villa. Or I will use the e.l.f. Lip Oil in the shade Pink Quartz. I'm just dabbing that as opposed to swiping it. And then I will go over top with some gloss. Actually, this is a lip oil. <laughs> And there we go. All right, so that was my everyday makeup or every filming day makeup. <laughs> I hope this gave you a couple new ideas, a couple new tips, or just some product recommendations. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video from me. Here's my Instagram as well if you'd like to see more content from me. And until next time, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.